hello everyone hope you all are doing well today i am going to give a demo on administration of service catalog okay so in this uh, section uh, we are going to learn how to maintain service catalog how to maintain uh, categories how to maintain uh, uh, catalogs how to maintain items okay how to create all these things okay so uh so we will see about administration of service catalog let's see okay log into your instance and in the all navigator in the filter navigator type service catalog service catalog okay so see uh so where where will you get service catalog let's see like in under self service you get service catalog service catalog catalog builder we have okay request overview catalogs catalog open records request item all these things catalog definitions okay uh, maintain catalogs all these things we are able to see okay so let's see how we will maintain all these things okay so under if you open under service under self service if you open service catalog okay so it will be available for all the users under self service service catalog because uh, it is the home page of service catalog uh, so here you can see uh, different types of categories under each category different types of catalog items all this things it is placed okay so anyone can use this page or anyone can uh, uh, place an order or request an order or submit in an order okay so under service catalog catalog builder using this catalog builder we can build catalogs all these things but using this catalog builder we will land in um, next videos okay so here the open records it's like once you submit the catalog items, um, you will get all the request items, tasks. Here you can see, let me open in new tab, okay? So here you can see the records generated, okay? Once you submit the uh, catalog, uh, you will get a request items, all these things you will get, okay? Here the catalog definitions, here my catalogs, okay? So, what are what all there in my catalogs there is nothing okay i did not create any catalogs till now so manage the service now system administrator or contain system administrator okay so if any one of this is there then it will be visible here if for example if a catalog is created by you or if the catalog is um, uh, catalogs manager is you and uh, then editor contains you then it it will show here but right now we don't have anything, okay? So let's see how many catalogs are there. Under maintain catalogs, let's see. So we have technical catalog, resource catalog, and service catalog, okay? Generally, every company uses service catalogs and they have different types of catalog, different, different catalogs also. So if you see service catalog, resource catalog, technical catalog, there are three catalogs available, okay? So if I open service catalog, okay, so you can see the service catalog. There are no, there are no manager for this catalog, no editors, description, desktop image, how many catalog items, how many categories, catalog portal pages, okay, sites. So all these things, it, will, it is visible here, okay? So the same way, if you open the technical catalog, so technical catalog how many catalog items how many categories how many um how many catalog or um, catalog portals are there so everything you can see okay so if you want to create a new catalog okay you can create a new catalog by just typing the new here click on new okay give the name if you want to create a new catalog but 
there is no option for now i mean there is no use case till now uh, most of the companies use a service catalog so they follow service catalog but if you want to create a new catalog you can create a new catalog using test catalog or something catalog okay uh, managers or editors enable uh, by enable wish list or everything okay if manager is or you can add manager is a uh, uh, system administrator okay description is test if you have any image you can add you can catalog home page you can add see for example service catalog home page there is no <coughs> okay uh, something like continue or uh, shopping pages everything okay so once you create it you can submit it okay now go back to service catalog okay uh, maintain catalogs so now you see test catalog is the active if you want to deactivate catalog you can just deactivate the catalog for example if you want to deactivate technical catalog technical catalog you just make it a false and deactivate it uh, resource catalog you can make a false deactivate it okay this is the test catalog okay and service catalog. okay so now if you go to my catalogs my catalogs it will it is my test catalog is available because if you open the test catalog the manager is set to system administrator okay you can create a catalog from here also okay click on new catalog see the manager is automatically populated here okay because the filter is set to manager is system administrator okay something like that so you can create new catalog from here also okay so so if you want to maintain catalogs all these things you can create uh, uh maintain catalogs you can go to maintain catalogs or my catalogs okay so any any uh, anywhere you can go and you can create a new catalog and you can change the manager of the catalog or editors of the catalog also okay if you want to have some particular manager you can add a particular manager to the catalog okay let's uh let's go to service catalog only okay let's go to service catalog so under service catalog um so if i open service catalog uh let's go to home page service catalog see uh now under self-service we have self service catalog home page okay and I want the same home page, same kind of home page, okay, for my test catalog also. So what I need to do, you need to create one new module, okay, one new module under self-service, like, for example, click on edit module, okay, click on edit module. You see. Okay, you can create a new uh, module called test catalog application self service. You can place an order also. Okay, and the link type catalog home page catalog. This is um, this is uh, a default um, catalog. Okay, catalog home page is param view equal to catalog default. Okay, this param view is equal to catalog default. Or you can add your uh, new catalog. For example, technical catalog. Okay. For example, if you go to technical catalog, type technical catalog. Or go to service, uh, go to service catalog. Okay, open the uh, uh, maintain catalogs. Technical catalog. okay so here you have a portal pages catalog items all these things okay if you go to request a knowledge base this is a record producer okay and try it Okay, here service catalog, uh, record producers and refreshment table is not supported something. So that's why it opened in service catalog overview. Okay, 
So uh, catalog homepage do this pattern view catalog uh, technical catalog. Okay. Technical underscore catalog. So a technical catalog open here. OK, so um, you can uh, you can use this URL and create your home page also. OK, technical catalog or shopping cart or services. It is available. OK, you can see the categories uh, services is true and uh, infrastructure is true. OK, so these two are uh, available. So those two only you can see here in the technical catalog. OK, in the service catalog home page also you can see service catalog. Uh, let's go back. Go to service catalog, click on service catalog. You can see OK, you can also search here. OK, you can add content. Um, now let's uh, see our test catalog. OK, so. Test catalog. Test catalog. So we don't have any uh, categories or anything. Okay. Let's. Um, so how to create a categories? So you can see in service catalog there are services, hardware, software. Can we help? All these are uh, categories. Okay. How we can um, uh, play these categories? OK, how how can we how, how to create these categories? OK, so for that go to service catalog and the service catalog. You have my categories and also maintain categories. What is difference between my categories and my maintain categories? OK, so under my my categories is like the categories which is. On uh, the catalog manager is system administrator or catalog editor system okay or or you can go to maintain categories under maintain categories all the categories are available so for example you created a one test catalog okay so under this or under service catalog if you want to create a categories how you can create a categories how or to create a view. There are a lot of ways to create a categories. OK, go to maintain categories uh, and click on new. OK, click on new. So here you can enter like a um, test category. OK, and you can select which catalog it is available for which catalog. Uh, it is like a test catalog or test. I mean test catalog or technical catalog or anything, any catalog. For example, I will test category. Category. Okay, so I will select a test catalog for now. Test catalog. Okay, um, and I don't have any parent for now. Okay, let's let's uh, save it. Let's save it. Okay, let's save it. Okay, and let's save it. So, uh, if I go to catalog test catalog, so there is no test catalog. Uh, it is not available here. So, so OK, it is not available here. OK, for that, what I need to do, I need to click on add content. OK, add content. And so you have catalog categories. So what categories you want? OK, like request for shopping cart or test category. OK, so test category, you want to define category details or cat catalog item. Catalog items we don't have, we will define categories. OK, add here. So see, test categories are available. OK, test categories are available. OK, so if you go to service catalog, if you go to service catalog. And click on add content. OK, so here, uh, here you don't have the Test uh, uh, category because it is the cat, uh, test cat category because the test category is not belongs to uh, service catalog. So that's the reason here you won't be able to you you won't see those categories test uh, test categories or anything. Okay, so close it 
And if you want to rearrange, for example, you want to show this hardware in first and service second, then you can just, uh, you know, uh, just drag and drop. Or something like that, okay? And also, you can add it, okay? Hardware, software, okay, or something. Okay, so for example, if you want to get this one, it's up, you can take it. If you want to remove um, a peripheral category, you can remove it. Or if you want to edit, you can edit the widget from here directly. It will directly go to categories. Okay, service catalog categories, all these things. Okay, and also if you you can create categories from if you go to maintain catalogs. Okay, go to maintain catalogs, test catalog. Okay, so if you want to create another category, you can create another category here also. Under okay, uh, it's the um, cat two or something like that. Okay, and submit and to go go here and again uh, add it. Okay, or something like that. catalog. Okay, add it. Now test category two is available. Mm, add here and close it. So you can adjust it, okay, both together, okay, something like that. You can add multiple widgets also, okay, not only catalog categories, okay, all these things you can add it, okay, or you can go to my categories, my categories also, and you can create categories also. Here I have created this category, so it, it came under my name, okay. Well, so you can create a new category also from here. And you can add roles to whom it should available this category, so you can add it, okay. So like that you can maintain the categories or uh, everything, okay. So, so if you go to again service catalog, okay, let's close all these tabs. Service catalog, click on service catalog. If I click on software, okay, this category, okay, there are items under this one, okay. You can create uh, some new catalog items and add it, okay. Or for example, uh, all these items you can uh, maintain in the maintain items or my items is called the items which are created by you or maintain items, items which are created by everyone uh, you can see here. For example, Pixel 4a, okay? So if you open this item and uh, see the catalog, which catalog it is available, service catalog. If you can add multiple catalogs each item. For example, this item I need to show under test catalog also, so I can select test catalog, okay? And categories, mobile, okay? Or anything, okay? And save it. So now if I open service catalog, uh, if I open catalogs, Okay, so here, uh, service catalog, technical catalog, I can add uh, our catalog, test catalog also. Okay, uh, I can add our test catalog. So you add it and open, open, open and uh, categories. Okay, under this category, we don't have any items. Okay, under this category also, we don't have any items. So what you can do is go to maintain categories or uh, maintain categories. So open our uh, categories, which are created latest, test category two, okay? Test category two, under this you can add uh, catalog items. What is our catalog item, okay? Pixel 4a, because we added this 4a uh, for um, our service catalog also, our uh, test catalog also, so that's the reason, okay? So now go again, go to catalogs, Go to catalogs, click on test catalog, and test category two, you can see test cat category two pixel 4A, okay?
And the same thing, uh, you can go to you can you can go to service catalog, okay, and pixel 4a I think uh, uh, mobiles, and you can see pixel 4a here also here as well, okay. So that is how you can uh, you can create new catalogs, maintain the new catalogs, okay, create and maintain categories and maintain new categories also, okay, and uh, you can adjust your items, okay, and you can create new items uh, that we will tell you. Uh, I will tell you in the next uh, section, okay. Uh, you can create a new cat uh, catalog items also. OK, so in the categories, you can create a parent category or child category. Also. So if I open them, um, uh, service catalog, go to service, go to service catalog, uh, sorry, service catalog, my categories are maintained categories. So you can create, a, for example, test category is a parent category, and test category two is a, uh, a second child category. You can create like that also. If I go and test category, uh, no, go to uh, go to test category two. Okay, here I can uh, add parent as a test category, test category, and save it. So then what happens? Then what happens if I go to catalogs? If I go to catalogs, if I click on test catalog, okay. So I have test category, test category two. If I click on test category, I can see test category two, okay, is a related category. Under this, I can see test. So you can see test catalog, test category, test category two. So test category two is a child of a test category, and test category is a parent of test category two. OK. So like that, uh, if you want to create a child categories, for example, uh, under test category two, you want to create a child category of uh, for this uh, child category, test category three, we need to create. OK, so then you can create directly here also. OK, under this one or go to maintain categories, you can create there. So if you, what happens if you create then parent it automatically set as test category two. Then test cat three category three and submit it. So now if I go to go to my uh, catalogs catalogs test category test catalog. So I can see test category two and test category. Okay, if I click on test uh, category. I can see test category two. If I click on test category two, I can see item and as well as test category three. But I am not able to see here because in this there is no item. So that's the reason. Okay. So that's the reason I am not able to see. Okay. So if I open test category two, so I can't see it here. Okay. Like that. So that's about uh, administration of um, a service catalog. OK, well, in the upcoming classes, we will see our maintain items, how to create maintain items, how to uh, add to them, uh, how to create maintain items, what all the maintain items we have, everything. Uh, we can see it later, OK? Uh, please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.